What historic fact keeps you awake at night? I'm blown away by the early mathematics that was achieved by guys who were literally inventing the concepts. The Bronze Age Collapse Around 3,200 years ago nearly all ancient civilizations in the eastern Mediterranean and Near East region were wiped out in a widespread event, societal collapse that was likely sudden and violent, and followed by the Greek Dark Ages and nobody really knows what happened. It just blows my mind. The fire that destroyed the former royal castle Trey Kroner in Stockholm in 1697. The fire destroyed the state archives, wiping out about half a millennium of written sources on Swedish history. Man went from the first flight in 1903 to landing on the moon Apollo 11 in 1969. That was a period of 66 years. That was 54 years ago. The Webb telescope has the power to see up to 13.5 billion light years away. The Earth is about 4.5 billion years old. That means the Webb telescope is taking pictures of things that happened 9 billion years before the Earth even existed. The people who lived when the Roman Empire fell didn't know that the Roman Empire was falling. Such a thing could only be seen in hindsight. We never know if we live in such times. All of us are alive because some prehistoric person somehow survived impossible odds. 400 years ago a trip from Europe to America took two months. Now it takes between 7 to 13 hours. How little of human history was recorded or survived the ages? Modern humans have been around 300,000 years. Recorded history only goes back to the 4th-5th millennium BCE. Uncounted humans lived, loved, suffered, created, and died for 6070x the time of all recorded history. Dinosaurs evolved millions of years before flowering plants. Blows my mind. This is so niche. But every time I get on a Mary Queen of Scots reading kick, I get re-obsessed with the death of Darnley. It's essentially unsolvable at this point. But everybody involved is acting so weird. Short version is that Mary and her husband Darnley are in a tense, unhappy marriage. He's staying at a house. She's staying at a castle somewhat nearby. She visits him at one point that night, then leaves to do other social stuff. He stays. The house explodes due to a ton of gunpowder in the cellar that didn't really have a good reason to be there. Mary is fine. She's far from the site. The servant who was still in the house dies. Apparently looking like you would expect somebody to look who was in a giant explosion. Darnley, however, is found dead some distance away. Partially dressed and apparently strangled. Based on Tudorera forensics. So who knows? Another servant is found with him and is in similar condition. Half naked. Strangled. It's kind of like the John Bonet Ramsey case in that there's a lot of theories that explain about 95% of the facts while still leaving a few key elements out to bother you. If Mary knew about the plot, would she have risked visiting the house after it was full of gunpowder? If she didn't, was she supposed to be a target as well? Did Darnley figure something out and make a run for it? Or was he in the orchard just because he got thrown there in the explosion? And the people who examined him assumed he was strangled because they hadn't seen many people die. From having their internal organs liquefied by a huge explosion? Was he half naked because he woke up in the middle of the night and started running? Or because explosions can rip clothing off people? There were trials and confessions. But they were highly political and the interrogation methods of the time were pretty aggressive. It's all just very strange and complicated and it always sticks in my mind. What was supposed to happen? What actually happened? History could have gone so differently if Darnley had lived or Mary had died that night. 
The time between copper swords and steel swords is longer than the time between steel swords and atomic bombs. It doesn't keep me up at night, but it's an interesting fact. The oldest person alive right now is 116 years and some days. That means that 117 years ago, every single person on this planet was different. In other words, a whole new set of people are here. 117 years was not that long ago. That it's a certainty that people who were as smart as Einstein lived and died working in sweatshops, agricultural fields, and as chattel slaves. World population was 2.5 billion in 1950, in 2023 we crossed the 8 billion mark. Genius Khan once killed so many people in a fairly short span of time that scientists are able to detect a fall in atmospheric CO2. It was some insane number like 2 million people in 6 months. The ruins of Pompeii. I never stop being amazed at how those corpses were preserved. It's so tangible. 28 years ago the jerk upstairs over my condo was born and he never learned how to be quiet at night. Julian the Apostate died because he was in a hurry and didn't want to wear his armor. If he had survived and continued as emperor, world would be very different. Less a single fact and more a trend that over and and over again leaders think conflicts they start will be easily won but they turn into quagmires or drastically escalate and cause massive wastes of human life. And modern day leaders are no different but they have nukes now. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.